What happened? I'll tell you all about it when we find our way out of here. This is the last report from our Eastern agent. Chris Calvert and Joan Hughes arrived in Washington late last night. Probably to report their success to Lord, the head of the Radar Research Bureau. And to arrange a demonstration. Of course. Sometimes I don't understand you. All of your work on the counter-radar device is on the verge of going up in smoke, and you're so unconcerned. That's not so, Nitra. I am concerned, very much concerned, especially now there's only a few more days left for me to finish my work. Well, have you any guarantee that the radar demonstration will be held back at your convenience? Not unless we make the proper arrangements. Despite our trials and tribulations and the fact that we're a month late, you will finally get a full report from Joan on our success in setting up the Keystone radar station. This will be quite a credit for both of you. If it works, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed until the ultra-wave radar is seen in operation. I don't suppose Baroda's activity has let up. Not since the moment I left your office. That night you gave me the dispatch case with my instructions. If you remember, there was a car waiting. to you? Why, of course. Then you're Chris Calvert. And you can't imagine what a relief it was to see the other half of that badge. You know, it's difficult to believe that Baroda could know so much about our plans. Well, apparently his agents are at work day and night. Just listen to what happened to us about three days after we arrived. We were working on the radar unit when there was a knock. Here, I'll get it. Good morning. May I come in? Just what is it you want? Well, I'm Emma Perkins, and I sell rural encyclopedias. Oh, I don't mean to appear rude, Miss Perkins, but I don't think... But that... it won't cost you a cent. It's absolutely free for one month while you look it over. I don't think it would... But it wouldn't hurt you none to leave it here, and it would help me. Very well. Thank you so much. I'll see you in 30 days, then. Goodbye. Who was that, Joan? Some poor woman selling encyclopedias. Oh, well, that's strange. Way out here in this wilderness. Who knows? Maybe that's where you're supposed to sell them. Do you smell anything? Smells like acid fumes. <coughs> Dutch, bring the car around fast. Let's get 
a mirror here, quick. <coughs> I'll open the door. <coughs> Joan, notify the police. Tell them to block all roads and be on the lookout for that car. I'm going after them. All right. hide out in town. Slow down a little. I was able to get out of the car before it crashed. And did you ever find out who the book sales lady was? That was Nitra. And through her, I met Baroda face to face. They injected Morphetol in my arm and sent me to rifle the files at the station. And I managed to pick up Rico's trail that led to a garage. keep you somewhat better informed of our day-to-day -day activities. Yes, those reports helped us to more clearly understand Baroda's objective. And only the successful creation of the radar ring will rid us of him and his kind. Well, we're ready to give a demonstration of the ultra-wave radar whenever you give the word. I've already given it. Arrangements have been made for the executive committee to leave day after tomorrow. Thank you so much for your confidence, Mr. Lord. Well, that confidence was certainly not misplaced. Well, we'd better get started. I have to make arrangements for the plane to be ready at Terminal Airport. It's 
It's all fixed. Just enough to get him up about 5,000 feet and then drop him like a hot potato. Good. It sure feels good to be on the last lap to Keystone. After what's happened in between, I have to pinch myself to make sure this isn't a dream. I don't know. It's either the ignition or the gas line. Well, they wouldn't let us take off without a check. That's right. The gas tank's register's nearly full. 